Almost time. <laughs> Call to order the 26th regular meeting and the last meeting of the 2008-2009 Common Council. As is tradition, uh, we'll have the City Clerk Sue Richards read the quote of the evening. Thank you. Cherish your yesterdays, dream your tomorrows, but live your todays. Tomorrow belongs to those who fully use today. Roll call. Boren? Here. Falk? Excused. Decker? Here. Gisha? Here. Hannah? Here. Heideman? Here. Kittleson? Here. Clyunas? Here. Meyer? Excused. Montemayor? Here. Rinfleisch? Here. Ryan? Here. Surik? Here. Vanderweel? Here. For Hasselt and Wangaman. I would go ahead. Go ahead. Thirteen present. Thank you. I'd ask that uh, Alderperson Clayunas lead us in the pledge. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. I would entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to approve the minutes from the uh, previous meeting. Second. <clears throat> Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Uh, public forum. Resignations. Oh, I'm sorry. Resignations. Apologize. Attorney McLean. Uh, thank you. Got letters from three different members of the Mayor's International Committee. Uh, Jose Starnella advising that uh, he decided not to renew his commitment for the next council year, so his resignation will be effective April 30, 2009. I need a motion to accept and file. All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Uh, Dieter Helms, resignation effective Wednesday, April 15th. I need a motion to accept and file. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. And Val Brizoff, also resigning from the International Committee. I'll need a motion to accept and file. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Public forum. Thank you. <clears throat> First on our list this evening is Jeff Shuko. If you could come up to the mic, please. And Jeff, can I have your home address? 2411 Camelot Boulevard. Camelot. Okay, and you will have five minutes, sir. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to come today, and, and I know. In the news lately, there's been an awful lot of down things about our economy. Uh, this council, the city, the state, federal government, we're all up against uh, a lot of big struggles. But I thought it'd be interesting to share some uh, positive news uh, and little things that a lot of people may not notice going on in our area. Uh, I, I run a very small business that I'm starting out and working to establish right here in Sheboygan. And I engaged a couple of years ago in a abatement program for an area community along the lakeshore, that being the city of Kiwani. Uh, the city, in implementing this program, found out that, well, they started saving a lot of money with their Department of Public Works. But what I didn't anticipate was what we've experienced this spring. A news story was run last fall, which I believe was on uh, Channel 5 and one or two other stations which I have a copy of. And this news story was promoting the success of their tourism development and what was being done to clean up their riverfront and their lakefront areas. 
And what, what I've been amazed to see this year, and I just wanted to let the city of Sheboygan and other communities know too, that this, is, this could be possible in many areas where there are problems, is that for the last three to four weeks already, their boat ramps are crammed. There's people trailering boats there and fishing, streams of boats going out on the lake and coming back in. It's really an impressive sight for a, a lakeside community like that. And I know this city's working towards those sorts of goals. And I think with the resources that, that uh, you have here in this community, in the people, that if you set your sights on, on some of these things, like development of the Aerospace Museum, possibly getting the Edson here, boy, it'd be wonderful to really jumpstart our tourism and really move things forward here. I'd, I'd love to see that take place here as much as I am in other communities that I'm getting engaged with now. And I just wanted to share a little bit of good news on that, in that regard, that there are good things happening here. And with a lot of the job losses, we really need to, I, I'm afraid, steer our governor and some others representing us in the right direction, which they haven't been of late. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you. <clears throat> and last this evening is Tom Bowers. Tom, if you could come up to the mic, please. <clears throat> address? And, yes, I do need your address. 2120 North 36th Street. And you will have five minutes, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> well, it's always good to hear uh, good news, uh, Mr. Suko. Uh, we can certainly use it. Tonight, I would like to uh, speak to you on some projects in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, I found on the Internet. This were shovel-ready projects which were submitted to the uh, Mayor's Conference 2008, which earmarks for Sheboygan $40,624,000. Here are a list of the projects. It, <clears throat> I imagine that this came from the mayor and maybe the council. Number one, construction of a pedestrian bridge over the uh, Sheboygan River. Cost $7 million. People voted on this. 81% voted no. Number two, perform sanitary sewer linings of various segments of the city sanitary system. A $300,000 project, 87% people voted yes. Development of a high-end end technology park within the city limits. Cost $15 million, 74% voted no. Purchase additional land to expand Sheboygan Business Center, $7 million. Cost, 70% voted no. Eisner Avenue reconstruction, including bicycle lanes, roadway improvement. Cost $7 million. I'm sorry, $3,838,000. 61% voted yes. 10th Street and Florida Avenue flood mitigation, including storm sewer, curbing, and road improvements. $2,160,000. 71% of the people voted no. Central Business District, District Street and Flood Mitigation Improvements, $2 million. 53% of the population voted no. Indiana Avenue Street Reconstruction, including reconstruction of storm sewers, cost $675,000, which seems very low, but anyway, 76% of the people voted yes. Now, I don't know if this is the project that was voted on last week or not, but anyway, 76% uh, of the people voted for it. Replace old windows, City Hall, cost 300,000, 51% of the people voted no. Additional police officers on the street to deal with street crime, $750,000, 58% of people voting voted yes. Eliminate or reduce bus fares for one year to increase ridership. 
$500,000 cost, 88% of the people voted no. Purchase new energy efficient transit buses to replace age buses, $500,000 cost, 68% of the people voted no. Add additional bus routes to metropolitan areas to allow persons to get jobs outside the city limits, $350,000 cost, 69% voted no. Provide feeder service bus routes to Central Business District, $250,000 cost, 58% people voted no. Now, this is only a outline and I would imagine that this isn't set in stone because this is probably the earmark that has been uh, allocated for Sheboygan and I don't know if this is the total amount or not. One thing that I know that I would like to see uh, created in Sheboygan for the, not only for the roadways but for sewers is maybe create a TIF district. This way with the TIF TIF district, it would eliminate some of the blight maybe on Indiana Avenue and would uh, help these people pay for some of these very expensive sewer repairs and road repairs. We were going to be faced in the next year, two years, three years, a very serious shortage of money. So if any of this money can be allocated to our, towards us, I'm hoping that this, these projects are not set in stone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. And that's it this evening. Okay. Thank you, Sue. We have the uh, consent agenda, and I'll... Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to accept and file all our O's and accept and adopt all our C's and pass all resolutions and ordinances. <coughs> Thank you. That's 26-1 and through 26-30. And we'll need a roll call on that. Discussion? Dan. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I just uh, had a question on document 26-29. If I recall correctly from reading the document at the last meeting, this is a, there's no current bid on these two trucks that we're looking to purchase. It's a single axle dump truck and a single axle, axle truck chassis. Uh, this is working off of an old bid from 2008, is that correct? I think you're correct. Alderperson Cleonis. Thank you, yes it is, but I understand that the bid has not changed, the price has not changed. It's the same price as it was the last year. They were giving us the same deal. Follow -up questions. I mean, <clears throat> absolutely all the person. Have we rebidded, I guess, to the entire group? I mean, I understand that's probably the case with this provider, but if we were to offer it out to three or four worthy providers, would they be more competitive? I mean, being in the, I guess, in, in private industry since last year sometime, many, whether you're in the soup business or the nuts business, people have gotten a lot more competitive with the economy that we're currently in. So I'm just curious if we offered it all out, what the result might be. Do we have an answer for that or do we know? Older Thank person Kittleson. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I was going to ask if we could have uh, Director Bill Bittner come up and address that. Bill? You just want to see if I can work this board. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're up to. <laughs> yes. uh, last year, the city did five traditional or major snowplow trucks. There's some differences, but they're pretty much the same unit. Uh, because of that large number, we felt the prices were very competitive. Uh, we now have the opportunity, as you indicated, because of the uh, economics, we have, there's several vendors involved in packaging a truck that comes through our door ready to use. And all vendors involved were willing to hold last year's prices at the group bid. It's our judgment if we bid out one truck, we would probably not get prices of this nature. That's a judgment thing. The only way to prove it is to bid one out, and if they're higher, they're higher, and if they're lower, they're lower. But our judgment is that because of the group 
and the, the large purchase, which uh, was five of these trucks, we, we'd have a, a, the, the best bid is what we got last year. Questions for Bill? Thank you, Bill. Any further discussion? Any discussion on any other items? Roll call. Warren? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clionis? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. And Wangaman? Aye. 13 ayes. Thank you. Communications and petitions uh, to be to be referred uh, 2631 to public protection and safety of the new council. Report of officers two. Uh, <clears throat> I need a motion to accept and file 2632 uh, by the city clerk submitting a communication from the March of Dimes requesting permission to hold their Sheboygan march for babies a three mile or six mile route on Saturday, April 25th. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, motion to accept and file. Second. Discussion? Attorney McLean. Uh, President Hanna, I believe you want to approve this tonight. Uh, I guess my suggestion would be to accept and adopt rather than file. I think it's uh, a little ambiguous uh, accepting and filing as to whether you're approving it or not. Vice President Bourne, would you? My motion. And your second? Thank you. Attorney McLean. Any other discussion? Uh, hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Motion carries. Uh, 2633 by the city clerk granting various license applications. I'll need a motion to accept and file. So moved. Alderman Bourne. Vice Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, do we need, uh, Sue, do we need a motion to, uh, uh, that's a report of officer to uh, move to, re, uh, that the report of officer be accepted and, and placed on file? Is that the correct motion? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so move then. Second. Second. Thank you, Alderperson Clayton. Discussion? We'll need a roll call. Sure. Decker? Gisha, Aye. Heideman, Aye. Kittleson, Clayunis, Montemayor, Aye. Rinfleisch, Aye. Ryan, Aye. Zurich, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Wangeman, Aye. and Boren. Aye. 13 ayes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, to be referred, uh, this would be 20, uh, 2634 through 2643, except we are pulling 2643 and the companion referral of 2650. We have additional, okay, I'm sorry. Resolution two, I'm sorry, resolutions introduced three. Um, I will need uh, for 2644, Alder Person Kittleson. Thank you, Mr. President. I would move that the resolution be put upon its passage. A second. second. Thank you. Uh, discussion? Under discussion, I think this is just a resolution um, authorizing our Director of Public Works to solicit bids for the uh, Western Inceptor. Thank just you. Just a general uh, resolution. Any further discussion? We'll need a roll call. Yes, that's fine. Gisha? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Born? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 13 ayes. Resolution passes. Uh, resolution 2645 by all the persons Ryan and Bauk. All the person Ryan. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution passes. 
We'll need a suspension on the next one. Uh, resolution 2646 by Alderperson Gisha, Clyunas Montemayor Born, Balk authorizing an amendment to the General Engineering Services contract with ACOM, dated July 11, 2008. Alderperson Gisha? Thank you, Mr. President. I ask for suspension of the rules with an explanation. The reason for the need of suspension is this is some additional work being done on the project. It's a time-sensitive project, as you can see by the dating on the document, and the, uh, this would release funds that are already set aside for this project. Do we have any objection to the suspension of rules? Okay, can we just move on to the resolution? Thank you. I move that the resolution be put upon its Wait. passage. Oh, sorry. All the person perhaps. Oh, thank you, Chair. Mr. Chair, I was just curious if there could be a, just a short and sweet explanation as to exactly what this is, the ACOM. All the person claims. Yes. Uh, this is a company that gives us general engineering services because we don't have a, a city engineer, and we just need to extend the services for the next se section. Is that satisfactory? Thank, thank you, all the person claims. Roll Any call. Other Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Gisha? Aye. 13 ayes. Resolution passes. Uh, resolution 2647 uh, by Alderman Gisha. Uh, authorizing an amendment to the flood control project engineering service contract with ACOM uh, dated August 13th, 2008. I think you'll need to suspend this one also. All the person gets you. Thank you, Mr. President. I ask for suspension of the rules. Second. Any uh, discussion? Any objection to the suspension? I Hearing move none. That, I uh, move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Any further discussion? We'll need a roll call. Mm -hmm. Kittleson? Aye. Clyunas? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 13 ayes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2649 by Alderperson Gisha that the city undertakes certain actions to reduce the number of preventable drownings and near drownings in the city. Alderperson Gisha. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Once again, and there will be a following document, I ask for suspension of the rules. Uh, I'm sorry. Second. Second. Uh, any objection? Please proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, pardon me, Mr. President. Just choked a little on that, Your Honor. Uh, you do, you're doing quite well, Mr. Kishan. Uh, just so everyone understands the suspension of the rules who happens to be listening tonight or in attendance, uh, this is to move $70,000 from the General Contingency Fund into the Parks Improvement Fund so that we can have certain water safety measures that the committee took up and requested adopting for, uh, in time for our summer tourism and beach season. So uh, this is uh, this is in response to the committee uh, uh, the committee report on water safety. Alderperson Ryan. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I think it should also be noted that the seventy thousand dollars that's being allocated for this, uh, hopefully, we will not incur that entire cost. Right. One part of this that is going to be incorporated into it is a. Five, five minute uh, water safety video that we hope to show on the screens at the uh, Marcus uh, Theater all summer long and also uh, the uh, brochures that will go out, et cetera, all of the, the uh, literature regarding this program we will be looking for a sponsor for. Now we're hoping that this video has a 10 year shelf life so to get a sponsorship on every uh, movie screen all summer long for 10 years probably is worth a buck or two. So hopefully we can knock this $70,000 down significantly. Thank you, Alderperson Ryan. Alderperson Clayunas. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, can I ask how much is left in the contingency fund? That would be for this year. 
Terry, I think it'll be a very short answer, but I think Terry would be best to answer. Terry? After this, there'll be about 80,000, I believe, left in the contingency. Any questions for Terry? That's after this disbursement. Yeah, correct. Thank you. Any further discussion? Call for a roll. Clay Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhassel? Aye. Wonkeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Ann Kittleson? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion passes. Resolution 2648, again by Alder Person Gisha, uh, authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2009, establishing a temporary appropriation for Water Safety Task Force, and recommended perf uh, improvements. Uh, this resolution will require a two thirds vote. Alder Person Gisha. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I ask for suspension of the rules. Second. Any discussion on the suspension of the rules? Hearing none, please proceed. Thank you. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Any discussion? Older person claims. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to say thank you to the, I want to say thank you to the committee for doing this work. It's very thorough. And um, I think, you know, it's a needed thing and the timing is important at this time because Hopefully, summer will come. <laughs> In due time. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I call for a roll call. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Cleunis? Aye. 13 ayes. Motion passes. Uh, to be referred, uh, 2650, which of course I'm having pulled through 2652. Reports of Committee 6, 2653 by law and licensing, uh, recommending the denial of the taxi cab driver license application 8187. Vice President Bourne. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. I uh, move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Any discussion? Under discussion, uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, is Jose Mozo here tonight? He's not here, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Mozo had an opportunity to appear before our committee. He declined. In fact, he uh, called me and uh, made an uh, oral withdrawal of his taxi cab driver's license application. Uh, so for that reason, we, uh, we voted just to make things clean that uh, we denied the uh, application. Thank you, Vice President Bourne. Any further discussion? Hearing none, a roll call, please. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Zurich? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Cleunis? Aye. And Montemayor? Aye. 13 ayes. Report of committee passes. Uh, to be referred 2654 through 2655. Report of committees 7. Uh, 2652 by Public Protection and Safety, making a favorable recommendation regarding the Water Safety Task Force report that the City of Sheboygan undertake certain actions to reduce the number of preventable drownings. <clears throat> it's 2656. 2656. Uh, near the city. I need a motion to accept and adopt. So moved. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Report of committee passes. Uh, report of committee 2657 uh, by finance making a favorable recommendation regarding the water safety task force report 
and the City of Sheboygan undertake certain actions to reduce the number of preventable drownings and near drownings in the city. I'll need a motion to accept and adopt. So moved. A second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? RC passes. RC 2658 by law and licensing recommending the denying of taxi cab driver's license application 8175 based upon the applicant's record of convictions and substantially related <coughs> to the licensed activity. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Discussion? Under discussion, uh, first of all, some uh, housekeeping thing. This is actually, uh, Madam City Clerk, this is actually a beverage operator's license, not a taxi cab. We did catch that at the uh, LNL meeting. But okay. Thank you. And then the gentleman has an interesting name. His first name is Mr. So I have to say is Mr. Mr. Harshman here tonight. He's not here, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Harshman uh, also had an invitation to appear before our committee. Uh, he declined to go through the, uh, the process and uh, called me and I believe also the city attorney's office to withdraw his uh, license application for the beverage operators. So again, just to make it clean, we voted unanimously to deny the license application. Thank you, Vice President Bourne. Any discussion? Requires a roll call. Please. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. For Hasselt? Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. Decker, Aye. Gisha, Aye. Heidemann, Aye. Kittleson, Aye. Clionis, Aye. Montemayor, Aye. and Rinfleisch. Aye. 13 ayes. Great. Report of committee accepted. Uh, to be referred, 2659 through 2660. Those will be referred to the new council. Report of committees, eight. Uh, resolution. Sorry, report 2661 by finance recommending the authorization of entering into a contract for the 2009 concrete sidewalk program and passing the substitute resolution. Alderperson Gisha. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted and the, resol the uh, substitute re resolution be put upon its passage. Thank you. Yeah. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Surik? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. And Ryan? Aye. 12 ayes, one abstention. Thank you. Uh, report of committee accepted. To be referred, 2662. Matters li laid over 11. RO number, I'm sorry, 2564, RO number 467-0809 by the city clerk submitting a communication from the Government Accountability Board awarding the municipal clerk $2,500 to be used for elections. I need a motion to accept and file. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, motion to accept and file. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? RO accepted. Uh, resolution, uh, I'm sorry, 2541, resolution number 245-0809 by Alderperson Meyer, extending the listing on the Little Red Schoolhouse at a, a 1116 Huron Avenue from April 2009 through December 2009. I'll need a motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Vice President Bourne. So moved, Mr. President. Second. Discussion. Alderperson Kittleson. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm okay with it. Thank you. Any other discussion? Alderperson Clayonis. Thank you, Mr. President. Just out of interest, has anyone expressed an interest in this property? Little Red School?
please come forward. Thank you, Paulette. Thank you, Mr. President and Council. We have had interest in the property, um, very low interest, but when we have received offers, offers have been so low that they haven't been accepted, so we continue to market it. Any discussion, any questions for Paulette? Thank you, Paulette. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing on a roll call, please. Vanderweel? Verhassel, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. Decker, Aye. Gisha, Aye. Heidemann, Aye. Kittleson, Clayunas, Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Ryan, Aye. and Surik. Aye. 13 ayes. Resolution passes. Thank you. 2565, uh, resolution number 2460809 by Alderperson. Meyer authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an agreement for the shared town of Wilson, city of Sheboygan, Dog Park. I'll need a resolution to put upon passage. All the person ready to flash. Thank you. I'll make that motion to put the resolution upon its passage. Can I have a second? Second. All the person Montemore. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, the, the dog park is almost here. One last step that we need to take, and I'm so glad it's almost here. Yes, it is. Thank you. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. For Hasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Decker? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Surik? Aye. And Vanderweel? 13 ayes. Resolution passes. Um, 2553, General Ordinance 850809 by older person Hannah Heidemann, Kittleson, Rinfleisch, and Ryan. Older person Rinfleisch. Uh, thank you. Um, I move that the General Ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, a roll call, please. Wangaman? Aye. Boren. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunas. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Surik. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. And Verhasselt. Aye. 13 ayes. General Ordinance passes. Thank you. 2555, General Ordinance 860809 by all the persons Gisha, Clayunas, Montemayor, Boren, and Bau creating Section 2 dash 874 of the Municipal Code entitled Special Assessments Payments in Installment. I need a motion to pass the ordinance. Alder Person Gesher. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I move that the uh, ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Discussion. Hearing none, a roll call please. Boren. Aye. Decker. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunas. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Surik. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. And Wangaman. Aye. Thirteen ayes. General ordinance passes. Uh, we move now to other matters authorized by law. Attorney McClain. All the person uh, Before we do so, I know we have pulled items 2643 and 2650. But as they are on the agenda, do we need to act on that? They weren't pulled before their agenda was made. Not sure what the president's intention was to pull those. Um, it was told to me that the purchasing agent was given wrong information for both of those documents. So he wanted them pulled to redo them to get the right information. So we're just pulling them. Okay. I just noticed because it was on the agenda. They need it to be corrected. Right. right. It was yeah. just notified to so us. So do we so. need to refer it back or just let it We're just going to, it'll be recorded in our records that it was pulled That's and pulled. new ones will come forward. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. <clears throat> Attorney McClain. Uh, 2663 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Denise Jones, owner of Trayship Boutique. 
stating her upset over the city charging her for parking spaces on the riverfront and asking to have four spaces marked in front of her business specifically for her business use. That's referred to transit. 2664 is communication from Paul and Barbara Gruber regarding the planned resurfacing project on Geely Avenue from 3rd Street to 6th Street and stating that most of the residents are opposed to this. This gets referred to the public works of the new council. 2665 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2009 and June 30, 2010. That gets referred to law and license of the, of the new council. 2666 is a resolution amending the composition of the information services, excuse me, information system steering committee so as to add the city assessor ex officio as a non-voting member. Uh, refer to the new common council. 2667 is an RC by the special committee on risk management recommending that various documents be referred to the new common council. That is referred to the new common council. 2668 is an RC by the Special Committee on Risk Management recommending that the documents uh, referred to the special, that the uh, enclosed uh, documents be referred also to the Special Committee on Risk Management of the new, new Council. That is referred to the Risk Management Committee of the New Council. 2668 is an RC by the Special Committee on Risk Management <clears throat> recommending that the Reporter Committee be referred to the New Common Council. That is referred to the new Common Council. Uh, before we adjourn, Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> if I could just have a moment. Uh, I want to thank my friend Dan Verhasselt's uh, uh, three years of service on the Council, Dan. Uh, <clears throat> Dan and I toured southwestern and southeastern Wisconsin uh, back before the new police station was built, so we had a, a chance for some male bonding on those on those trips, <laughs> which also included, in fact, I think it was two trips to Janesville, Dan, wasn't it? One was to look at their police department, which was also a Sabinash project, and then also a chance to look at their, uh, their dispatch center. So we put on a lot of miles that summer. Uh, I also want to thank you, Dan, for reviving uh, earlier this year the possibility of doing uh, joint dispatch, I was uh, happy to join you in that effort. And it may take three to five years to come to fruition, but I think we're on the right track with that. And uh, it's also been a great pleasure tipping a couple Guinnesses with you after the meetings. <laughs> so thank you very much, Dan, for your service. I'm going to take the floor for a minute. Um, first off, uh, I would like to, to really express, I'm sure, the gratitude of the entire Common Council and the citizens of Sheboygan uh, for Mayor Perez's efforts over the last four years. Uh, he did a remarkable job in keeping the city budget in balance, keeping taxes reasonable and declining. We finally have a police station. We almost have a dog park. Mayor Perez was tireless in his efforts. He worked very hard. He had the best interests of Sheboygan uh, in his heart, and we wish him all the best uh, going forward. All the person Ryan. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I concur with your, with your uh, kind words about Mayor Perez. Uh, whether you agreed or disagreed with Mayor Perez, he put everything he had into the last four years of running this city. You know, he told me um, when I was running for office after the primary, he said, uh, you know, if you win, it's very lonely when you get there. He said, it's a very lonely job. He said, uh, there's, there's people coming after you all the time. And, uh, you know, I think it would be nice if, uh, you know, the people, uh, the uh, supporters of Mayor Perez and, and the people who did not support him, lend a kind word to him. Uh, maybe send him a card, give him a phone call, and tell him that uh, we appreciate uh, all the efforts that he has made for the city over the last four years because he did put everything that he possibly could into doing the best job uh, to, as being uh, best job at being mayor that he possibly could. So I thank him for that. Thank you. Thank you. All the person along with it. Motion to adjourn, signed die. 
I have one more comment. <laughs> okay. so close. Very close. But I would be I would be remiss if I didn't express the the optimism that so many council people have come up to me, and we're looking so forward to your leadership, Mayor Elect Ryan. Uh, there's a good feeling in the city. There's a positive feeling. Uh, we can already tell since the election how are you going to go about doing business, and we are we are very excited to work with you. So congratulations, Bob. Thank you. All the person in flesh. I believe it is tradition as well uh, for the Common Council, the outgoing members, to be allowed to have say a few words. So we do have one today. <laughs> All the person for Hassan. Thank you, fellow alderman, Mr. Ryan Fleisch and President Hanna. Uh, yes, I would like to take a, a few minutes here and just thank the community and thank this body for the last three years. It's truly been an honor. And a pleasure working with this group. Boy, it's come a long ways in the last four and five years when I consider the time that I first got on the council or at least was thinking about getting on the council, just the quality of the, the depth of this council. Really appreciate that. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me over the last three months, am I looking forward to leaving, having all this extra free time and that sort of thing? And you know, and, I, and honestly, I can say I have mixed feelings about it because there's a lot of good things that have happened here, but a lot of, of inviting challenges in the year ahead that I would love to be a part of. But on the flip side, I've got a beautiful wife and two very, very energetic little boys. <laughs> They're looking forward to a little more time at home. So I, I honestly look forward to that. Um, it's been fun and rewarding. And you know, we've had some very good debates here over the last three years. Um, and I, that too, I think, I hope everybody found those rewarding and useful as well to just increase the quality of our decision making at the end of the day. And, and I hope I served that purpose to some degree that was able to bring more information out onto the floor. Um, I've always tried to keep our constituents number one uh, when thinking about different resolutions that are on the council floor here. I've tried to vote to benefit the citizens, but at the same time, you know, I've obviously been challenged by the focus um, occasionally of trying to grow our government. You know, it's a concern of mine that I think we need to, to try to manage the growth and, and focus on issues that actually help benefit the citizenry much more than they help benefit ourselves. Um, I too would like to thank Mayor Perez for the work he's done the last four years. Again, <clears throat> like him or love him, I challenge anyone to look at his predecessors for a better re record of fiscal restraint. And I, and I send a friendly challenge to Mayor-elect Bob Bryan the same way. Um, it'll be a challenging four years from a fiscal standpoint. So I'd like to uh, thank Mayor Perez for his work. I wish my successor, Julie Koth, all the best. I think she's still here. There she is, um, over the next two years. And I, and I have a vested interest in that. Obviously, she will be my alderman starting tomorrow. So again, I'm very, uh, um, very interested in seeing her succeed. Again, I'd like to wish Mayor-elect Ryan all the success here in the next four years. And with that, I'll say thanks and good night. I would also like to thank uh, Alderperson Meyer for her years of service to the city. Uh, she, again, was a hard worker, dedicated to the city, um, and we'll miss her energy. Uh, we certainly look forward to uh, Tom Bowers joining us uh, in the next two years. Uh, with that, Alderperson Wongam. That's a hard act to follow. I also would like to wish Alderman Ryan the best of luck, or Mary Lecter Ryan, beg your pardon. With that, I make a motion to adjourn. Signed, aye. Do I have a second? second. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Thank you very much.